Hey everyone, this project is going to be using the lathe to help make a tool to fix my car. So it turns out I have a bad fuel injector in this car and I ordered some new ones, but the tool that they sell to pull it out is a type of slap hammer puller and it screws onto the uh, fuel ho hose part and then it just allows you to pop the injector out. Uh, this tool is about $80 and more than I feel like spending for hopefully the one time that I'll need to use it. Um, so I'm gonna try to make a tool on the lathe and that way I can get these new injectors in and drive this car again. If you remember from the heavy steel taper video, there was one part where I used the taper hammer and in order to make that work, I had to make a test piece. This is that test piece, and it's just basically a heavy steel piece with a hole in the middle. I'm gonna to try to utilize this as the weight for the puller. And so basically, since I already have this, I just need to make a piece that fits in this hole and has some kind of stop on it, and then also has an M12 thread on the end to go where to screw on to where the injector line uh, attaches. And that should make taking these injectors out uh, pretty easy. The first thing I need to do is drill a center hole to be able to use the live center to steady the piece. With the part supported with the live center, now I just have to turn down the outside diameter to match just under the inside diameter of this hole and then that way I can fit this over the piece and slide it uh, and use that to help me remove the injectors. still a little bit left to go. It's a little bit loose, but that's totally fine for this application. It doesn't need to be a tight fit. Uh, it just has to be somewhat of a snug fit. Next, I want to cut just a little groove for an O-ring. And what that's going to do is when this is on here, it will hopefully keep it from sliding all the way down and potentially impacting the top of the injector. Uh, I think this far down would probably be plenty and it's not a, a precise tool so I'm just going to go with that.
it's a little ugly, but again, for a one-time use tool, this should be perfect. Now I just need to drill the hole before uh, I can tap the M12 threads. Well, because of my setup and how I was trying to do this, I uh, ended up, it just didn't make threads, it just stripped. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to face this off and drill the hole deeper and then uh, try to tap it again and I'll probably do most of that off camera. Um, and then I'll come back in a second for you guys and uh, finish up this tool. Okay, I got the hole drilled and the part a little bit shorter. And now I'm just, uh, I got the thread started also. And now I'm just threading it the rest of the way to an M12 by 1.5 uh, pitch thread. And that is the same as the thread that's on the top of the fuel injectors where the fuel line attaches. That should be plenty deep enough and if you haven't seen me use this before I'll link this in the description it's just a quick deburr tool and it's really nice for getting rid of any of the sharp edges uh, on the end of the threads so with that I want to put just a little bit of a Camper on here. Make sure to put it back and forward after you get the tap out. And I think I'm going to hit that with a little bit of sandpaper. sharp edges. I also wanted to square up this real quick. So the reason for facing this edge a little bit was to allow it to mate up nicely with the weight so it has a good surface when I use it as a slap hammer. Now the last thing to do is just flip it around and we're going to add a little bit of style and a little bit of functionality to it with a quick knurl.
open them again. Mark. So it just needs an O-ring. And the idea is that the knurled part will allow me to screw it onto the injector. The O-ring right here will keep the weight from sitting on the eject injector. And then when I pull back, it'll pop the injector out. So let me find an O-ring, put that on, and then we can try it. I have my value pack of O-rings and just need to find one that should fit on here. Well, that'll do. I also uh, blew this out with compressed air because it's extremely, extremely important that there are no metal chips uh, left in here that could potentially end up in the injector. Um, that would cause it not to work very quickly. So now to assemble this, I just have to put the weight on the shaft, slide the O-ring into the groove, which will hold the weight in place. And the way it will work is using the injector, uh, one of the new injectors as an example, I'm going to be pulling the injectors out of the car with this, but this will simply tighten onto the top of the injector, like so, and then maybe a good hit or two, and the injector should pop right out without having to wiggle it and risk damaging either the old injector or more importantly, the port and the head. Uh, also, in case you're wondering, the reason I made this shaft part out of aluminum is for two reasons. One. Uh, it's lightweight, easy to work with, and I already had a piece laying around. And two, uh, if this ended up crossed, if one of the threads were going to get damaged, I would rather damage the part than one of the injectors. Um, so I just did that uh, mostly because I had it, but also that was the other reason. So really, I took an $80 tool uh, and with a little bit of time and a couple of pieces that I had laying around, made just the same tool that should be just as effective for pretty much free. Uh, I don't know how many other times I'll be able to use this, but maybe I'll get another use out of it. Um, now the last thing to do is try it in the car and see if it works. Um, I will say that trying it in the car is a bit of a quick operation because once you pull this tip off on these injectors, you only have a few minutes to install it before the um, O-ring on here expands too much so that you can't install it. So I'm going to go ahead and say right now, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, please comment with any suggestions or thoughts below. Uh, hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, sorry again for my lackluster setup currently, but hopefully you enjoyed this lathe video again. Um, making something cool that I can now just immediately use. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for both more lathe videos and more other videos um, as I find more projects in the shop. So uh, thanks again, and the next clip will be this actually in action. That worked great. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.